Star Rail Story, Star Rail Story, Star Rail Story, yeah! Well, my friends, are you ready to head? Yeah, let's go. Wonderful. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. Okay. Well, oh, here it is. I hope. Mother, I have returned. Oh, gosh. I hope you'll be okay, Bronya. Bronya, I thought, I thought I'd lost you. Mm. Where were you? Are, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, Mother. I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The underworld? Oh, I see. Oh, well. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. Well. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Svarog and learned some truths about the Stellaron. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see the change in her... Her, um... I'm listening. There. Go on. Well. Madam Kakolia. It is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. Yes, we got her on our side! I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother? You've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian, to carry these secrets for eternity. Mm hmm So, I ask you to forgive my defiance, but I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellaron, the architects waited hundreds of years. And those outsiders may be the... the... Enough! Oh man... <laughs> what? Arrogant. Ignorant. Uh, you disappoint me, Branya. Oh, you disappoint me, Kokolia. I thought you would be better! You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg. And now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum. And suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders? Guards! Take Branya. They are not scum. My entire life. Everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. This time. Mm -hmm. This time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. She's and not please, saying mother anymore. Stop dismissing me with vague excuses. Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding? Why do you send the Silvermane guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. Uh, I hate I knew this, this lady. Would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. I don't like Cocolia. Ronya, please be okay. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? I hope, um, well, I want to say both Kokolia and Branya, the voice actress, really good. Yes. I am ready. Mother. Then come with me, Branya. No, this is a trap, Branya, no! It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Oh no. <sighs> She can, she can hear it. Ah, we're finally back. 
forgot what fresh air tasted like. Um, 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 um. Uh, where do we go now? Oh, wait, I haven't finished yet. <sighs> All right, let's go. Where's our next stop? We should find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Goethe Hotel again. Classic, unreliable Sampo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district than he sneaks off. Well, we should hide in plain sight. To the hotel. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Let's find Landau. Home is where the heart is back to the express. Oh god, let's do the, the Landau. Or the sis. If you're talking about Chapard, we should be careful. He's a top silver main guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. Hmm. Don Hung, what do you think? I think it'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. So you think we should avoid Jepard for the time being, right? In a way. He's an elite officer of the Silver Main Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. Hmm. Mm, makes sense. Guess we better head over to Sir Ball's workshop then. Hmm. But we must keep a low profile. We're still wanted fugitives. What's well, wrong, Zila? Nothing. It's just a little new. She never been here. The huh? last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. Hmm. The overworld and the underworld. We've we've been cut off for so long. I'm okay. Let's go. Okay. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. It might have something to do with us. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. So, do we just avoid them? Talk to the sh All right, let's just go straight and hope that they don't see me. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Come yeah. around and have a look. No, I won't because I'm wanted. <laughs> Who is it? Shop's closed today. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Oh, well. Uh, radiator fixer. Uh -huh. Ah, I remember. The three outsiders. Wait, why are you still strolling around the city? You know the Silvermane guards are looking all over for you? Quick, act natural and get inside. Don't get spotted. Okay, we're in. We're in. We're fine. <laughs> all right, you'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing and barely anyone comes in. Just Yay. what crime did you commit exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city and everyone's in a panic. Oh, we just... Not yet, March. Branya said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? At least he's Good. honest. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Kokolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the Architects. Oh. I refuse to stand with her. Let's go, Sarval. I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the Architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the Architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know mm -hmm. Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. Yeah. Do you know Kokolia well? So what details have you been pondering? Do you dislike Kokolia? Let's do this. <laughs> you could say that. We were like sisters once. Inseparable. Oh, really? Of course, that was all before she became the supreme guardian. These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. Ah. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. 
Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. Hmm. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. Let's go. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> yeah. We may as well tell the long and short of it from start to finish. Um, we may as well cut to the chase and make a long short story short. Let's do that. Ooh, I'm the best storyteller. Let me, let me. Well, <clears throat> perhaps I should do it. Yeah. Or we'll still be here tomorrow. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Telling Serval about your time in the underworld and what you know about the Stellaron and showing her Bronya's letter. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Bronya recently. <sighs> After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. Yeah. As for the Stellaron, I know why Branya got you to find me. When mm -hmm. I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division, I was researching the Stellaron. Dang, she's, she is like the... She does scientific stuff? I thought she was just straight up music. I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Come on. I'll tell you everything. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Alright, we talk more. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Svarog, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Hmm. Just my luck. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. That's why. That's why. Okay. Maybe I should be thanking Kakolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. How much do you know about Stellaron? I figured out that the Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked, so I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Man, just for a research, you get expelled? That's messed you. That's messed up. You got fired for just something that you didn't know was bad. Did you? Do you know what Kokolia and Kokolia? It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. You are the oldest one. You wouldn't be friends with a Supreme Guardian if you you aren't the oldest. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm, it was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. That's actually not inaccurate. She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. I, I meant to say, that's not far off. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? It is. Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation. And the real Kokolia has already vanished. Mm. Is she being compelled by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions <sighs> who knows 
But this might make for a good songwriting material. <laughs> Can we talk to Japard? <laughs> Japard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. <laughs> for my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. Hmm. Do you know where the Stellaron is? Yes. I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog, somewhere in the vast snow plains. We must locate it as soon as possible, ideally before Kokolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing. But I'm afraid telling you might not be enough. Hmm. The area to the north of Bellabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. Okay. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. Um... Uh... Restricted yes. zone? Yes. That's where the I know main about Fragmentum, I'm pretty sure. Is stationed. They've consolidated their position there in order to resist the encroaching Fragmentum. It sounds like the three of us and Zila might not be enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? I hmm. fear we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the north. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brainwaves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Ooh. Really? Great. Phew. It's less scary if someone you know is leading the way. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. True. That's settled then. There's no time to lose. We should head out as soon as you're ready. Okay. Let's just go now, I guess. Um, that's your part. D <sighs> Darn it. I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Uh, Find somewhere to hide, quick. I'll handle him. Well. Japard, it's you. I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> things are manageable. <laughs> the latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. He's cute, by the way. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Sis, <laughs> you look a bit pale. Did something happen? He's so caring. No, no. Why would anything have happened? Why aren't you, why are you making this so obvious though? So? You don't no, normally terrible. use my full name. Uh, you said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, Brosif? Oh, you said it though. No. You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Hmm. Oh, and he's smiling. Oh. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Hmm. Lil Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. Huh. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the administrative district. She issued a curfew for the entire city. 
and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Oh, well... Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Branya. Is she alright? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Then she was right here! <laughs> well... Well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. Mmm, Sela's worried. She really does tell you everything. <laughs> oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over... Uh... Wait! Mm, what is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um... Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible. So, don't go over there. Seems like a they strange ran. reason not to take a look. They ran so late. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. Uh, am not? How dare you? What do you take your sister for? Okay, now I can see why people love this sibling. My goodness, I like their bond so far. Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. What about the thing that you're looking for? Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask, what crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian, but this isn't a joking matter. Oh man. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. Oh, Pela? Pela um, does music with you? That's cool. I will, if I have the time. Oh, I want the part to be on our Augustus side. Is clear. You can come out now. At least he sent my team, so whatever. <laughs> well. You, I nearly suffocated. What kind of plot device was that? I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Branya's in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klipoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Well, Rest you heard the Kokolia lady. may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Mm, have you thought of a way to persuade Jepard? Uh, is Jafar going to the... Well, that's a, we're gonna Didn't you hear find him? that out. He said he needs to take care of a few matters in the city first. If we're fast enough, we can stay out of his way. Come okay. on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Alright, let's go. When? Now? Is Bronya really safe? You care about her, huh? You must have become close friends. Uh, close is a bit much, but I made her a promise. Oh. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I can believe that. Close is a bit much? You guys seem close already. <laughs> Let's go with uh, Bailu, by the way. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, they oh. up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves. Well, Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. Wait, how? We're right in front of them. Trick the guard? 
This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that... Ha! <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. I don't know what to do here. Well, if it isn't Franz. Long time no see. You're still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I... Yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. What did she do? So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers. So, he got me in for free. Wow. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? Well, N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. <sighs> Seeing as you're Captain Japard's sister, it should be fine. Oh, uh, okay. well. Here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, Ooh. no. Captain Japard hates all that under the table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. Well, might be a good chance. Who is that guy? I, 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 take a look. We take a look. No, you don't see me. See? You don't, that was easy. You don't see me. You it's don't see sister, me. All right. Wait, I'm going to wait until the thing is done. I don't want people to see me that way. I'm doing this for you. Otherwise, I wouldn't be using my brother's name. Okay. Anything here? Oh. Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on Earth. Oh, geez. These guys. So who exactly is on the other side? And what's this <laughs> HT double hockey stick like exactly? The architects follow with pause. Do they believe? What, so what exactly An is on the other side? Fragmentum. A few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? Are you come this far? Exactly. We've got nowhere left to retreat. <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. I have not encountered any, um, I helped set the yet. underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. Okay. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Lando. Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Don't hurt me! Oh, wait, what? Mechanical Fever released a new song. Did you hear it? Oh, sure did. Palo was on lead vocals this time. Scared me half to death. It's a completely different style. Is this um, with Serval? Even Mechanical Fever is changing. <sighs> Rock and roll's dead. There's no audience anymore. Don't be so pessimistic. They're just keeping things fresh. I thought Palo was pretty good. I thought with the voice. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's those. <sighs> nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. Seems like it. In our family, we have a strong military tradition going back generations. Many a Landau has died in their prime. There's not a lot of brother and sister time. Everyone just does their best to get on with their life. Hmm. Okay. Get that, and then this, and then what this? Yay, cool. Where do you go? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, that's it. Easy. <laughs> a little something for everyone. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Doody doody do. Boop be doop be doop. Boop. Boop. Oh, enemies. Or something. You don't see me. You don't see me. Darn. Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. Um. So someone deliberately trying to create trouble? I... Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Ah, uh, they cut off their only retreat? That's terrible. <sighs> Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabok. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Okay. We're friends, right? Okay, bye. I'm gonna do that, and then bye. <laughs> Are we supposed to not see, let them see us? Wait, I have to go here? That's it. The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. I thought we need to sneak. Maybe not. Mm. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. One unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. Um, won't this cause a commotion? Won't this... Won't the guards get suspicious? That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. We're saying this when the guards are right close to Come us, on. right? Let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Okay. What you got, Ard? This guard? This guard. Oh, whoops. Guard. Yo! Evening, soldier! Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? What's up with the voice? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, darn, this guy's not stupid. You what? need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother then? Captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem. We'll be back in a bit. So maybe I don't have to um, sneak around, I guess. Watch that. We'll, I'll have to sneak later on. Oh, that guy? It looks like it's a battle waiting to happen. Well, hi. Can I listen? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you hear Malik is being reassigned? Seems like uh, both the front line and the city are short-handed right now. Seriously? No way. I thought Malik had only just been promoted. Mysterious. Feels like uh, something big's about to go down. Sounds like it. As long it. as it's away from the front line, I'd happily be reassigned. <sighs> It's only been a year since I enlisted. I'm not ready to lose my life. Eh, you make it sound terrible. Good luck preserving anything with those idlers in the reserve units. Our purpose as Silvermane Guards is to protect the citizens of Bellabog. Hmm. 
I mean, the other guy's concern is fair, though. That's the thing. What happened here? Hi. Well. Hey, done. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security, Captain. S Serval, it's been a long time. You're still so... <clears throat> you look good. Is this guy, um, voiced by the one who voices Omen and Valorant? I heard that, um, the voice actor of Omen, um, is also in this game and looks like this one. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Mm. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool. Pleased to meet you. Great to, great seeing you. I'm not saying something smells weird. No. Oh, <clears throat> hello. Maybe it is. Oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> uh, Zachary, how many days has it been since you showered? Uh, well, I showered right before my shift. Mm, nah. What did you say? What the fudge? I... I haven't showered in two days, sir. Oh my Unacceptable, gosh. Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment all. Oh my <laughs> it's gosh. It's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? You are big, by the way. My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. Oh. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Serval. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though mm. I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've mm. checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Hmm. <sighs> Uh oh. Don't be hesitant in front of your dream girl. Oh gosh. We'll be on our way after we run a checkup. <sighs> Maybe this is the um, omen from Valorant. Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh. Let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers can't find the problem. Something like that? Kinda. Not exactly those words, but kinda. And may I ask, when did he contact you? Wait, is the pard doing something? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped around and asked the favor. Uh -huh. Why is he hesitant about Japard? Captain Japard just returned to the front line. Oh. I could reconfirm with him. Oh. Uh, uh, hold up, he's back? Uh, that can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. What just happened? <sighs> you haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. Uh oh. These people you've brought, they're. they're not workshop assistants, right? Uh. <sighs> Serval, it's mm. not that I don't want to help you, but you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. But the outsiders must remain. Aww. There goes the negotiation. Serval, you should go. Sorry for getting you involved in this. Looks like this is going to end in a fight after all. You should go. No. I brought you guys here, and I'm standing with you till the end. Done. This concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Please, don't stand in our way. Serval! We used to rehearse together every day. You must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. Well. Well. Oh, great. Let's go here. In the name of Landau. Huh? Well, yeah. <laughs> Serval, why? I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. Hmm. <laughs> it's 
stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. Mm. Got it. The encryption key. Quick, before we attract attention, let's... Depart is here, huh? Oh, alarm. That's a yikes. I think we attracted attention. That's mm. the enemy attack alarm. Every Silvermane guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy. Well, um, if we work together, we can break through their ranks. We've made it up till now. I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care. I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron. Let's go, Serval. Quick, back to the energy supply hub. Anyone that tries to stop us is going to find out a thing or two. 